Hey everybody, I said it once and I will say it again, Butterfree VMAX is the most overpowered new meta. You better, better be ready for it. If you're not ready for Butterfree VMAX, you're going to have a rude awakening and it only gets better and better from here. In my last Butterfree VMAX video, I played a fairly standard Egg Rao deck with the Rillaboom to get the Butterfrees out. But I think this deck is most uh, successful when you're able to combine multiple forms of control. We already have the power plant. We're going to be uh, poisoning and confusing them. So why not add item lock into there as well in this list? We are playing two copies of the Pokemon Research Lab so that we can early on get out that Amistar and Fossil Bind if we go first. We um, immediately make the Amistar. If we go second, we're able to use Super Growth. So we have options no matter how we're, uh, no matter which order we are taking our turns in. Uh, other than that, a lot of the list is very similar to my last list, and I think that this deck has nowhere to go but up. Uh, the Amistar, I think, is an improvement that helps in a lot of matchups. So hopefully, you enjoy these games that I have with this overpowered, completely busted, broken, meta-breaking, completely not underpowered at all, completely good, definitely good, actually good, Butterfree VMAX deck. As always, make sure to like and leave a comment if you like the video, and uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, I stream on Twitch almost every day. Uh, you can find a link to my Twitch stream in the description, and hopefully you enjoy these games. This one's gonna work, I'm sure. It's the fossil, it blocks items. It'd be cool if it blocks supporters. I don't think there's really any way to block supporters. There's an, the, the new shiftry that's coming out of block supporters. Alright. And I will change this to... Uh... I say no, we don't want to go first, right? Alright, so we started the Butterfree. I don't even know where my Butterfree is. There we go. Found the Butterfree. It's a little big. We'll make it a bit smaller. I think I made it big to flex one time. Excellent. Okay. You play this deck a concerning amount? Okay, I just started playing it. This is a different Butterfree deck, Juddings, okay? This is, this is Butterfree Item Lock. We're playing against Item Lock, I don't know. I was just playing Gazer Beam's Torkoal Lock deck. It's not, not ideal. It's not really that great. Uh, so let's go Tala. We'll find this. We'll find this. Find this. We're gonna go into an egg row. It's cool. We'll find this. And we'll find a nominite. There we go. We figured it out. Butterfree's overpowered, Juddings. I don't know what you're talking about. Butterfree's the new meta. It just hasn't been figured out yet. I'm gonna be the one to do it, okay? I'm gonna solve Butterfree. I'm gonna solve the Butterfree dilemma. I think they have a bad hand, so I'm not gonna bother Marnie. 
Maybe I should, Marnie. No, I'm not gonna bother. Super grow. Thwacky. Rillaboom. We do have three Pokemon in play, so our Omanyte probably won't take, come into effect quite yet. But I think it will eventually. Right? Right? This is a switch heavy meta, though conditions are basically a joke. Hey, they can't use switch if their items are locked with Omastar. Alright. So, I think we Marnie. And then we'll power plant to prevent any future Dedenes. Uh, calming Hurricane, heal ourselves, do damage. Great. Brave Bird, Dark Energy. Yeah, there's, there's other ways that aren't items. But hey, Poison and Confusion and Free Retreat, like... Don't forget about free retreat. Don't forget about energy acceleration. All right, this deck, this deck is the truth. Just you wait. You'll see me at World Championships 2021 with Butterfree. Hopefully we'll have a World Championships 2021. Yes, okay, they put more Pokemon into play than me. They can't use items. Wait, they can? This was an, oh, I haven't evolved the Amistar, duh. That's silly of me. Okay. Okay. So now they have a lot of Pokemon in play. How are we going to do this? We are going to Voltage Beat. One energy. Onto Butterfree. Right? Yes. Then. Yeah, let's Crobat. Um, Mallow and Lana is not bad. Uh, let's Mallow and Lana. Send this up. We can get rid of these. That heals. That goes up. Then we discard this. We, we have to throw our hand out to do this, but it's worth it. It's worth it, okay? Then we're going to use this. Shuffle this back. Get the Amistar. They now are unable to use items. Well, actually, wait. <sighs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Once this gets knocked out, they'll have four Pokemon in play, so they will be able to use items. So uh, maybe this actually doesn't work, but uh, whatever. We needed the Crobat to get this, but <laughs> the Crobat's going to be our, our downfall. So... So yeah, Lord Helix, use Pokecom. Yeah, I use Pokecom. What is our opponent playing? Our opponent is playing... Uh, the thing is, we lost enough games with uh, Gazer Beam's Torkoal Lock deck that we were able to go down in ELO so that uh, we can have uh, an easy matchup <laughs> with the Butterfree list. Um, that was done by intention. And also, they put down a Pokemon for whatever reason and denied themselves items, so... I mean, look at that. Butterfree VMAX, overpowered deck, so strong. Um, yeah, Juddings, no one is exactly sure how ELO works. People are saying it has to do with the deck you're playing. But also, like, I usually only run into decks like that when after I've lost like three games in a row. So I feel like it's a combination of the two. It's a combination of like the number of times you've played a deck and um, how maybe your streak is going if you're on a winning streak or a losing streak. Cause I don't know, I just feel like it has to take that into account, but I don't know for sure. We're really gonna make Butterfree work here.
Oh, the nine of wands is referring to the fact that your paycheck won't be arriving in the mail today. Oh, that's interesting. Hope you hope you hope you take care of yourself, wine guy. Streak is big, I think. Yeah, I think it might be. Alright, so we got this. That's cool. We can start this. And I guess we can do that. <laughs> the thing is that this deck is like working against itself because it at the same time wants to get the Almastar into play and get this into play. Alright, we're playing against a Farfetch'd, so so we're actually okay. We're actually like totally safe. Alright, because we're gonna Guzhala. We're gonna discard these two, right? We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this, and we're gonna get this. We'll put that there. We'll put the research lab. We can save the capture energy. Actually, I didn't, I didn't want capture energy. I wanted weakness guard. We're not going to capture anything. We're just going to make Omanite. Perfect. Alright. Just watch, watch Butterfree perform. Butterfree lock. Overpowered. Strongest deck in the meta. Yes. Oh, I think they clicked on it. They clicked on the research lab by mistake. Oh my goodness. Here, you can see, you can see the situations in which Butterfree VMAX just crushes the ladder. The strongest deck available. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's try one more game with Butterfree VMAX on our win streak and see how strong this Butterfree lock can operate crushes the ladder we can flip we won the coin flip uh would we like to go first no because we are going to either use super growth or the Amistar nonsense uh we did not open a basic so we will be shuffling our hand into the deck and getting a brand new hand after our opponent has chosen an active pokemon to be their active pokemon I was trying to find... Okay. So, we got six prizes. We're going to shuffle this back. Shuffle, shuffle. You dropped a crystal for a switch. Whiffing switch hurts too much. Yeah, whiffing switch is rough. I I think I like playing such high counts of fire crystal is because I'm used to, like, mag cargo. Um, and, like, that was the welder deck I played, like, forever. And in that deck, you play four fire crystal, and it's just so good. Because you're constantly discarding fire and then getting it back. But in Mew 3, I don't... I I, I think you're really only going to need one or two fire crystals. Like, you're probably only going to resolve one, really. Because, like, you're not going to be attacking that much with Mewtwo. And when you do, you don't discard the, the fire energy. The only time you lose fire energy is when a Mewtwo dies, you know? So... Maybe playing, like, maxing out our copies of Fire Crystal is a little excessive, so. Yeah, Burnt and I have been putting a lot of thought into this Welder Mewtwo deck. Um, of, like, ways to optimize it. We're playing against Dragapult. Uh, which is a shame. Because... That deck's good. But it's okay, they're playing- well, I don't even know what this evolves into. I was gonna say it's okay, the deck is probably bad because they have rock roughs. But, I don't know, this might be some spice I'm not ready for. I don't want to assume that my opponent doesn't know what they're doing when they clearly probably have uh, a optimized, optimal optimization here that I don't even know about. Like, I don't know the first thing about what this rock rough turns into. Okay. Um... Yeah, sucks we didn't open a basic. Lycanroc is decent. Yeah, but like... I can't remember what the Lycanroc does. Because I can remember the one with the eyes. The like... Um, it's the one that rotated out when it evolves. It, it's a Guzma. It's a, it's not, it's a, it's a boss's orders when it evolves. Oh, he's using the Lycanroc to fight Eternatus? That makes total sense. That makes total sense. I understand that. Um, 
Although I just can't remember. Okay, this is it. Twilight Eyes. When you play this Pokemon to your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may discard an energy attack. Ah, very good. This is a very good uh, Eternatus counter, I guess, because it puts him back energy. It puts me back energy. Very good. Yeah, I think we might lose to this. We might get absolutely beaten by this Butterfree Lock deck. No, absolutely beaten with our Butterfree Lock deck. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, so we'll put a Grookey down. I guess we capture energy. And we're gonna find our Butterfree. We can Sinlin. We'll discard our Grookey. We're gonna get... Oh, I thought we had a boss. Yeah, we got Marnie. What am I thinking? I'm misthinking. Uh, and then I guess we Super Growth. And then we can evolve this Gro Grookey into a Thwacky. And then we can evolve this Thwacky into... Ah... Uh, we'll evolve into Real Boom next turn. Whatever. Whatever. Hammers. It's okay. You know, we don't need to get the Amistar out every game. It's not a necessity. The bare necessities. Necessities. Alright, we'll put this back. We're going to get to Dene. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to be okay. We're going to put this down. We're going to put this down. We're going to play the Dedene. Maybe I should have gotten Crobat. Crobat was more optimal in that situation. Whatever. We're learning from our mistakes. The bare necessities. Necessities. All right. We're going to get two of these. We're going to throw it on here. Okay. And we'll just call them Hurricane. Alright, you can throw damage wherever you like. Alright, you can knock me out, but we're going to take the return knockout, and we're going to we're gonna win in the pro- Uh, okay. Yep. I was like, we're going to win in the prize trade, but um, we might not. Okay, that's rough. Is a single Lycanroc enough against Eternatus? I don't know. I don't know enough about the Dragapult Eternatus matchup. I, uh, like, because I'm sure weakness is annoying, but if you're denying energy, like, this is playing hammers. Like, Eternatus can really get beaten bad by energy denial. So, uh, we don't know. Or at least I don't know. So, we'll put this here. Is this weak to grass? This is weak to grass. Uh, I don't want to get obliterated um uh, let's see this is a still 150 so this can't knock us out of one turn they can't take any knockouts this turn i don't think not unless they gust up Rillaboom, which i don't think they'll do which is bad so maybe we should just take this out and then take two prizes just to start off with but this can also evolve and become something threatening so what can we go hollow for we can get uh we've already used big charm so we can get balloon and then energy and a, a stadium I don't think that's helpful. I think it's better just to boss up the Lycanroc and just knock it out and take two prizes to kind of try and balance out the prize trade a bit. Hopefully. Okay, we got Rod and we get Quick Ball. So we're going to get hit again. But if we can knock this out... And then not get some, not not get knocked out by anything else. We'll be okay. That's that's my plan. That's my hope, at least. This is gonna be an intense game. This is gonna be the game, the game to end all games. Okay, wait. There's ten. We're one forty. If they do ten more damage, we're dead. We're busted. We're dead. Oh, uh, Dene. They're gonna find Scoop Up Net here. If they find Scoop Up Net, we're we're screwed. We're toasted. Absolute toast. Bread and toast. Bread and toast. We're going to get roasted. Okay, here they find net. No, they didn't find net yet. I guess... guess that's a shame. They're switching back. Okay. Yeah, but we'll just attack. Oh, I thought they used a supporter. 
Whatever. Okay. No, they have the net. Oh, they did have the net. Okay, so we lose. I was like, we hit perfect math against this. If we evolve into Butterfree VMAX, we can knock this out next turn. It doesn't matter. This gets knocked out. Um, we're still not dead, actually. We are still not quite dead. He's not dead yet. Okay. Okay. We have this in our hand. We have this. How are we going to turn this into a win, chat? How are we going to do it? With our skills, of course. With our high octane, high level, high powered skills. All right, we're going to voltage beat. We're going to get two grass out of the deck. We're going to throw them there. Bam, bam. Amazing. We're going to then switch into this. Okay. Bam, bam. We got the energy. We got this. Uh, this is, these are vulnerable, but they're not lost causes. Let's go like this. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. We got a prize. We got a prize. We got a prize. I don't think we give up a prize right away. Do we have a boss left? Okay, we've used one boss. So that means we still have... As long as this prize card isn't a boss, we do have a boss left in deck. So... Maybe we can draw into boss. We can boss up the goon. And we can knock out the goon. Right? Because this does... Damn... Uh... Okay. Shame. It's okay, we still have Rod in deck. So Rod can put energies back, and then we can Voltage beat the energies out. Oh, this is so close. This is so close. Net. Oh, does Net make anything favorable? If they have Boss to get Dedene, we lose. But they don't. They have scooped up these Pokemon, though. We got boss. Huh. This is so hard. Because I don't think... We don't have energy left in deck. We need to play Rod. That really hurt us. That hammer hurt us because if we bought we could boss up to dead a use gx if we had the energy we have one rod in deck What can we find? We can find our special energy with Guzhala. We need grass though. Um, we could heal. This gets knocked out next turn. We could maybe boss install. Can we get four energy in one turn? Let's just Marnie, see what we get. No, we didn't get the rod. My thinking was if we got rod, we could put it back. We could get this. We could maybe. Yeah. It's a shame. Well played to our opponent. We have lost. That was a close game. That was if they had flipped tails on that last hammer, we would have won. But our Rillaboom gets knocked out here. What? They didn't knock out our Rillaboom? What on earth are they doing? What are they doing? They could have won, but they didn't. Do they realize that? Oh my god. Uh. 
Okay. So let's boss up Crobat. We have to use a Crobat of our own. If we want to win with this Crobat, we have to draw... I shouldn't have used that tag call. Using that tag call was dumb. Um, we're going to draw two cards with Crobat. We have to draw a Rod. We did not draw the Ordinary Rod. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that tag call so we could have drawn more cards. But we Super Growth again. Hopefully they don't have Switch. <laughs> if they don't have Switch, we'll be so lucky. And then maybe we can draw into Rod. 19 cards left in deck. We have a 1 in 19 chance of not having Rod. I don't know. They just need either one energy to main... Okay, they have Switch. They have Switch. Well played. <sighs> what a game. What a game. Don't worry. Butterfree just gets better. It just gets better and better from here. You better believe it, alright? Butterfree is the strongest Pokemon deck ever made. It will only get stronger. Butterfree VMAX, you heard it here first. Here, here first, folks. Yes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and leave a comment if you want to.